50 majestic um, snapdragons and then we have our no oh, so we, got... we have some Kellogg's garden soil and then we have besides the plants would be the fertilizer so we got the bloom bones back in the back we do have some white and red uh, snapdragons but that's for a different property but it's what we're working on today or this morning should I say So I just got done planting the annuals at this property here. While I was doing that, the guys were cutting a bougainvillea at this house here. But now, while they clean up this mess that I made over here, I will go back to this house and we're going to remove all the cypress trees. I think we have about seven of them here. So we're gonna be removing those. And that's it. And then on to the next job. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This boy standing on his Christmas tree. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can I have my Christmas tree back? <laughs> Can I have my Christmas tree back? <laughs> All right, so we're taking out the cypress tree. Uh, it's an Italian cypress. And so what they're doing, they're gonna be cutting the circle all the way around. Kind of giving them a line of, of where they're gonna be digging down. And it's basically like a foot away, foot, a foot and a half away from the trunk. Because the Italian cypress, they usually only have maybe three runners, maybe two or three runners. So this way here, they'll cut all the little ones as they're doing this. And then after this, they'll, what they'll do is they'll start moving it back and forth. You can see that, what he's trying to do now. And then, um, and then from there, they can find out where all the main roots are. And then they'll, then they'll start attacking it. And let's see what the, how they do this. Also too, by taking some of that dirt off around and cutting all the little roots, it does make the, uh, the whole tree more um, easier to move around. And you can see how if, once they pick up the shovel, you can see the, the tree kind of bouncing back and forth a little bit. All they need to do is get together and push, at, push that tree the same direction. And, see, and then they can find out where the weak, uh, where what's holding it. So now he's doing is going underneath, getting all the little roots that might be holding it back. And then at the same time, he's gonna be hitting some of that dirt off. And because we don't have a machine or anything, we do this all by hand. So now they're doing this, they're gonna be knocking all that loose dirt off to, to get weight off of it.
All right, so we had to rip out all the plants here because we have when we had that last hurricane. We had water going to the house, and what I think it, what happened was when it took some molding out of here, yeah, it was here and here. These holes were exposed, so I put some of this stuff in here to clog up the holes, so hopefully no more water goes in there. But same time, we took all the plants out of here. Uh, we do have. A drain the six inch pipes in here we got two of them here kind of going out that way so it goes that way and it comes out that way so what we're doing now is that we're digging out the pipe so i'm going to kind of make like a swell so some of this water can if we ever had this happen again we still got the drain but we also got a little swell for this water to get out also so